if you are watching this video, I had to get a new car. It is not something that I ever wanted to do, at least not for the next like 10 or so years, just because I did end up purchasing my absolute dream car. My Range Rover has been getting stuck on restricted mode or limp mode and it struggles going over 40 35 to 40 miles an hour we uh called around dealerships here nobody outside of range rover dealerships can work on my car or at least we haven't found anybody around here that can work on my car they don't have like the software for it or something like that and the nearest range rover dealership for us is minneapolis minnesota if it's what everyone that we've talked to about this thinks it is it could be up to five thousand ish dollars but if it is what the guy at range rover said that it more than likely would be we would have to get it fixed every two to like three or so years every two to five years or something like that i'm so attached to my car i envisioned myself giving my Range Rover to my baby sister so that she could drive it. She'll start driving in about five years, which is so crazy to think about. But like, I just, I had a lot of plans with my little Range Rover. We're going to be looking at a couple cars this weekend, tomorrow actually. Jacob is at work right now. Hopefully we can come home with a Volkswagen because I do really like the Volkswagen Atlas. It also... When you were leaving, I need you even more than I did before. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to our channel or welcome back to our channel. Today's vlog, I did not plan to weekend vlog. I also did not plan to get a new car today because I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. There's my car coming in right now. But today could potentially be the last day that I have with my little Range Rover. She is frozen. Um, some wires got damaged when we got really, really cold wind chills. Like for an entire month and a half, I'm pretty sure it was like negative degree weather. And my car is not built for frozen temperatures like that but i did not plan to get a new car i did not want to ever get a new car again i wanted that car to last me like 10 years and then maybe get a new car um we're almost done with the loan on that car and now we're going to be starting over Hi. see he looks like he's angry and then that makes me angry because you look like you're in a crabby mood you could smile smile oh wait Okay, smile. See? You can't even tell because I'm right here. <laughs> um, I want to show you guys my face. So this was my first one birthday girl. Yeah. He, she is a dad, even though he. This one's curled up in the box to save its baby. Yeah. I'm fitting this thing. <laughs> okay, guys, we are going to go vacuum out the car and then we're going to head to the dealership. It's about an hour ish away. And we're going to see what they say. If, they, if we can't get it, it's fine. We'll look somewhere else. Um, but at least I'll have a clean Range Rover after. At the door, you drive me crazy, I want you to stay here. Now I'm here alone, I hate this party and I don't know anyone. We get drunk and we fight, but I forgive you although you drive me crazy, I want you to stay here. So we're here, we're trying to find the Atlas right now. The two atlases that we're looking at um and then we might look at a honda pilot i don't really know anything about honda pilot so so that's one that i prefer to not get just because i don't know anything about it well, i don't see your cars would it be over there no they're probably over there where we drove by yeah i don't know hopefully we're both nervous because we don't want to restart a car loan two hours later okay you guys i'm gonna make this super duper quick we are getting everything out of my range rover yeah this is actually a little bit sadder than i wanted it to be just because i love this car but it had to get done we needed to trade it in now before it was too late and we did we got the car that we wanted <laughs> yeah you'll be the death of me still your medicine yeah The new car we got a Volkswagen Atlas which we have heard a lot of really good things about Volkswagen Jacob is a huge fan of Volkswagen he actually was about to buy a Volkswagen Jetta a couple years back one of our really good couple friends they have a Volkswagen theirs is a diesel though 
and ours is not a diesel, but they recommended it to us. It has third row seating back there. It has a bench middle row, which that's one of the things that I don't like. I also don't like that it does not have a sunroof, but I do have a third row now and we could actually haul our groceries in it now versus my car. We had a hard time, even Jacob's pickup because he has it filled with a bunch of stuff in the bed, but like it was really hard to haul groceries in my vehicle, my former Range Rover. It's going to be really weird to say that I don't own it anymore. It is rated five out of five stars for safety it's rated really good on being a very reliable and durable vehicle it is very spacious we are not bumping elbows anymore it's got the space of like jacob's truck this she's being so picky right now no i'm not what do you mean the brakes are just like your truck they are and she doesn't like my brakes in my truck <laughs> what do you think you like it? What does that yeah. mean? What do you think, babe? Good. Good? I love it. Love it? I like the blind spot monitors on the windows. That's something that I actually just found out when was it like two weekends ago? No. When I saw it on a car that we drove past and then I pointed it out to Jacob and he told me about it and I've wanted it in a vehicle and this one had it. I, I really like this. I, I like it. Hello. I'm in the back. Is this the same there. as this? Huh? Is it the same as this? No. We're gonna play oh, Friends and Freddy's, Freddy's on my phone. Just to put me out again. Still I need ya. I'm weak for you. Yeah, you. Ooh, yeah, you. Ooh. Not gonna play that. I'm, I feel like I'm gonna get jump scared. You got an outlet here. It's yeah, nice in the back. Like the Pacifica. And also, see that thing that's for like the sun or whatever. There's one on that side too. Well, that's all from the back. Okay, so I had, to, okay. So we already had dinner, okay? And this is part of my weight gain, is that we eat dinner and a couple hours later, I'm starving. So I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow the inside of the Atlas. I don't, I'm pretty sure that I showed you what car we got. And we're gonna talk a little bit more in depth of stuff that we have, um, the learning curve. Yeah, the learning curve of the Atlas. There's like some sort of eco thing on it, Jacob was saying, where it's called stop start. Called stop start. We re we noticed it when we were going to the shoe store to get the girls' soccer cleats and soccer balls and stuff like that. But I had stopped at the stop sign and the car shut off, but it wasn't fully off. It just, how do you explain that? So the car is still on, but the motor isn't running. The motor turns off to stop burning gas to be eco-friendly. We got our new car. It's a new to us. I think it was only a one. Yeah. Why do you do things while I'm trying to talk to the vlog? I don't know what to focus on. Uh, it was only a one owner vehicle, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> I don't. I'm Okay, you guys, Ivana is going to be riding around in her scooter, so that's why it's going to be noisy. But this is my new car. Yeah, she loves it. I love it. It is a Volkswagen Atlas. It is in the color silver. And I am obsessed. Okay, there, you can kind of see the color just a little bit better. But this is what she looks like. And I'm going to take you guys inside. Okay, so now I'm inside the car. It does have the digital speed reading or the digital speedometer that shows up on there as well. And if you open the doors, it tells you what doors open. It tells you the temperature. It is a push start, which I mean, I'm not a huge fan of push start vehicles. Okay, anyway, so it does have the Bluetooth selection. My phone is inside the house though, so it's not connected. Then it's got the phone option right here. It's got voice where I can tell it to call someone or you know, whatever. I haven't played with this yet So not entirely sure what this one does. There is an app That I can use with my phone connected to the USB right here 
This is the sound. I can mess with the bass and stuff. I'm excited to try out the bass because I love bumping in the car on my way to pick up Ivana. And then right here, actually, it, um, Jacob says this is also in the Volkswagen Beetles. This tells you, um, this is eco mode. Um, it tells you, like, how good your fuel mileage is. And then you can keep hitting it. It tells you the vehicle status. So this would be, like, my, um, tire pressure, oil changes. And then this is where I would get a warning sign if anything happens with my car. I don't know. I'm still messing around with it. I'm still playing with it. Um, there's that setting. And then back to Think Blue. This is different in my year. I have a 2019 and we were looking at a 2020. Um, the 2020 had what my Range Rover had, which was like the, the passenger um, dial and then the driver dial. This one does not. So this one is a set temperature throughout the entire car, which it's fine. It's no big deal. Oh, this is the... Oh! That makes sense. Okay. So this is the auto stop start button. Okay, so um, I think last night we had mentioned that the car would automatically like stop if we were parked or at a stop sign or something. I wanted to know how to turn that off because it, it worries me. I feel like something's gonna end up happening with the starter in a few years or something if that keeps happening. It might not happen, it might be part of the car. I'm not used to that. That's something I've never had in a vehicle before. I have a shifter, which in my Range Rover I have the dial and I hated the dial, so I'm happy about the shifter. Okay, really quick, one more thing that I'm so in love with is I have the blind spot monitor. I don't know if you can see that sign right there. Another thing I do want to add is my windows, like my front windows are not tinted, which I am not a huge fan of. I want my tinted windows. So I'm actually going to take it in to a, a detail and tint shop local to me. And they're going to do my windows for me, which I'm so excited about. And we're also going to do Jacob's because Jacob's truck is the same way. His back windows are tinted, but not his front windows or his like windshield, which is, it's fine. It's whatever. But yeah, so I'm going to show you guys the back now because I'm so excited over the back. You got storage right here, storage down there, and a cup holder, which is so awesome. This I love. It's built in sunshades. You clip it in and the sunshade is already there. Then you unclip it. And it falls right in. This is the middle row. That is where Ivana sits. Her um, car seat protector has to get washed. So please do not mind that. But it fits three right here because it is the bench seat. I did want the captain seats, which is totally fine. I did want the captain seats in the middle row just so it would be easy for Ivana or Nicole to hop into the, the back seat in case they ever wanted to sit back there. Because I remember as a kid, I loved riding in the, the third row of the back seat. I am so sad about my Range Rover. I'm so upset that we had to get rid of it, but this car is way more spacious than any car that I've ever owned, and I love it. <laughs> okay, so to access the third row, there is this lever right here, and when you lift it up, you pull, and then it flips like that, and you can um, scooch it further up there, or it can go backwards. Hopefully the camera doesn't fall. There we go. So as you can see, there is a lot of room to hop into the third row. There's a car seat tether right there. There's another one right there. And then there's one right there. And these two could also hold car seats because they do have tethers in the back as well. We have tried to update Jacob's truck projects. So we're going to show you his projects right now. First project was his tires. He got these new tires about three, four months ago. So he's got new fender flares as well. Yep. Uh, the rims, I don't know what kind of rims they are. Jenny picked those ones out too. <laughs> what I do like is that his tires, the fender flares, match the... What's this called? Ga what's that called? Gas casket? What's the flappy thing called? I don't know. But they match. He got a light strip for his blinkers and his brake lights and all of that fun stuff. This is my antenna. Oh Where I didn't do that one. I did not do that one. Let you drive it two days. <laughs> his antenna is missing. Maybe that's the loud pop you heard. <laughs> I swear I didn't know the antenna was gone. Oh, 
my gosh. Where did you drive this thing? I took it to work. So thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. It was a very sad. I was very upset to have to trade in my Range Rover because that was my favorite car and I loved it and it was my dream car. But yeah, do you want to say bye to the vlog? Bye bye. I'm an ice saving truck if you need an ice book, call me. <laughs> Alright, bye.